Uh, good things to know about EMD, playing EMD. Probably most importantly for mandolin players trying to do the Grisman thing on it is uh, playing the notes on one string. <laughs> thing is to, to delight in the common tones of the chords. All the chords in this song, except for the B7, or the B chord, I should say, have the common tones of E and G. And uh, the E minor chord is E and G. The C chord has E and G. The A chord, the A7 chord has E and G. Uh, the, what else am I missing? Is there another chord? Anyway. They've all got E and G, except for the B chord, which has D sharp and F sharp, same exact position, just a half step down. So it's harmonically neat. You got the E minor. What that what it allows you to do is do really close voicings for the chords that E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C. E minor, C. So, and then if you start adding the sevens, like the C7 sounds really cool because it puts that, that flat seven on the C chord, but also a flat five on the E chord. Um, so that's E minor to E7, also looks like... You know, E diminished. E minor to, I'm sorry, to C7. E minor to C7 also looks like E diminished. Anyway, um, and you know, you can play your A like this C sharp, G, and E. So it's, it's good to, Choose your chord vo chord chord voicings in a way that the common tones that are shared are played in those chords as they change, and that you don't move around a lot. 